Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Now we are joined over the phone by Mr. Uh, Mithat Murad. He is a tourism expert. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Mithat. Good afternoon to you. So, uh, sir, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, uh, the importance of this uh, great events in promoting tourism uh, to Egypt uh, in general and Luxor in particular. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's like we are, we are now moving into branding by destination. You know how much uh, Egypt is full of highlights of yes. attraction um, um, to guests from around the world, but mm. everyone who's coming to Egypt have a different interest. So some of them uh, like to go to Sharm el Sheikh and Hurghada for the beach um, uh, activities. Yes. Others come to Cairo and go to Luxor and Afran for the historical and monuments and heritage that we have. And um, we already did at, uh, the Royal Mummies event, which was very successful. It raised the bar for any other um, ceremony or event um, uh, promoting Egypt. And now, today, in a couple of hours, we'll be uh, seeing uh, uh, another um, uh, uh, great event happening in the biggest open-air museum in the world, Yes. in the city of Luxor. Hmm. Uh, so that's a must-see. All hotels in Luxor tonight are all fully booked for the first time since 10 years ago, before the COVID. Uh, so it's really very remarkable. The president, our president, uh, will be there attending this, and this gives the indication how is the leadership here in Egypt um, uh, caring about uh, the tourism industry. Yes. So he's supervising even the event himself, hmm. just to make sure that everything will be, go right and will go uh, uh, to the world reflecting the great image of Egypt. Yes, uh, also the Ministry of Tourism has sent open invitations to foreign ambassadors and uh, many public figures. We have also more than 200, 200 journalists expected to attend the, the historic events. So uh, to what extent this will promote for cultural tourism in Egypt to make it more attractive uh, to tourists in the coming period uh, as uh, we have uh, some uh, tourists who are only interested in uh, beaches, uh, maybe uh, in uh, health tourism, uh, not in cultural tourism. Yes, um, um, and relating to, to what you said and the importance of that, yes. um, the Ministry of Tourism together with the Ministry of uh, Aviation uh, did a new route uh, very recently uh, from Sharm el-Sheikh to, to Luxor. Yes, Direct great. Direct flights yeah. and back. So. The guests who are, uh, as you are saying, who are really interested in the beach and mm. holidays and the sun and great weather of mm. Egypt can also enjoy going an over day or an overnight to Luxor City mm. to enjoy the, the antiquities, the highlights when they see it tonight on TV and with uh, the great way that will be presented. Uh, I'm sure this will be reflecting in every person who's, who's seeing this and promoting for the destination very well. Yes. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Mithat Murad, the tourism expert. Thank you for being with us today. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time and our special edition, uh, which covers uh, the uh, inauguration of the Avenue of Sphinxes, our al kibash or Rams Road, which is set to be unveiled in the coming two hours at 7.30, exactly Cairo Local Time, in the upper city of Luxor, in a spectacular ceremony uh, with the attendance of uh, foreign ambassadors and public figures from around the world, uh, more, hundred, um, more than 200 uh, journalists. Uh, so stay tuned for our special coverage for this great event taking place here in Luxor. Thank you for watching.